The level of violation is, is unreal. It's hard for a father to explain, feeling responsible for keeping his family safe. It's a rage that I've never experienced before in my life when I think about it. It's, it's so frustrating. This man does not want to be identified for his safety. That's because he says someone he does not know broke into his home early Saturday morning. <laughs> coming into their home when they were sleeping after stealing a garage door opener from their car outside. In order to get into my kitchen where they stole all the keys from, they had to walk past my daughter's room. He claims the thief took the keys and then stole his car. The community is looking for you and you know, I really hope you break into the wrong house next time. Well, three days later, someone did the same thing to another family just a block away, this time taking two cars. I was just disappointed that I didn't catch him. These men do not know each other, but each of them found a car about a mile away at Timber Point Apartments, which they say was not a surprise. Within two weeks, they've seen a shooting and have a car stolen, all from Timber Point. Last month, a person was shot at this complex, and for this crime, one car is still missing, and police say no arrests have been made. There's not much I can do right now. I'm just glad that we're all right. Understanding it could have been worse, but wishing they could sleep without worry. Whoever did this, I, I don't know. I hope karma catches up to you. For Fox 59 News, I'm Kilarinki. Yeah.